What's the matter? You give me, you give me kind of a... I'm a little the, upset. Well, what's the matter? Well, I, I don't know why you didn't invite me to your Tony party. <laughs> And there's Helen Hayes chowing down on pork, and I'm stuck at the Tony party with Steve Gutenberg. Uh, how, uh, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Is this uh, somewhere in the back of your mind? Was this a, a lifelong dream for you to one day win one of these? Yeah, I think it's about the highest honor an actor in the theater yep. can get. Good for you. Thank you. What was, uh... <laughs> what was the evening like? Uh, t completely terrifying, yeah. because I tried really hard to be calm about it for the month that, w since they uh, announced the nominations, to when they then give them out. Right. And, <clears throat> but I got to the show, and you sit there, and you know that your category is going to come up early, mm -hmm. so you can't enjoy anything, <laughs> because you're just terrified. And it's on television, so they have lights, yeah. so you're hot, and you're sweating, and you can hear your heart. And then they announce your name, <laughs> and you walk up, and, and, and you accept your award from Whoopi Goldberg and Steve Gutenberg, right. and, and you turn and you face a lot of penguins and sequins. Uh -huh. <laughs> and now you have to talk yeah. to them and try to speak English. Right. And you think that all that's coming out is, very <laughs> far, <laughs> my mom. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, then you, and then you leave, you walk off stage, and the first thing that they do, after having worked your whole life to get this award, mm -hmm. is they take it away from you. Oh, you don't, you don't get to take the... No, the uh, this woman goes, here, we have to engrave it, thank you. <laughs> and you go, but that's my award. Yeah. But now this seems to me like poor planning, because if they know the winner, somebody knows the winner. Well, Anthony Quinn did. <laughs> oh, yeah, what, what was that exactly? Who knows? Zorba! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Maybe it was Prozac. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, so you don't get to keep keep the trophy now. No, is... and then they do it to you again. They take it away, and then they take you downstairs into this press room where you talk to the press, and they give you another one right. to take photographs, and then you're like, oh, I got it. And then they go, here, we have to take <laughs> that away. And they do it to you four times, yeah. and you're j it's like your blanket keeps getting taken away. Yeah. Now, now, what what is the... Uh, we see it uh, ne never having won one, never having been near one. What is the... What is it? It's a gold monkey. <laughs> That's very nice. Yeah, it's tail spin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, um, no, it's a, it's it's like it's like that. It's it's a, it's silver and and it has a, a a sort of a silver dollar thing and and I actually haven't seen one. Yeah. I think yeah. I, but it has a happy and sad face on it. Com compare compare drama. Compared to the, the Ace Award, is it nicer or not as nice? It doesn't have quite as big a point, uh -huh. I think. <laughs> well, anyway, congratulations again. Now, uh, you travel... Is it you who travels with your dog? I do, I do, and I have a new dog that I found uh, last uh, July in, in California. What kind of dog? He's a mix between a lab and a Belgian shepherd, mm -hmm. and he has... Oh, Belgian shepherds are great animals. great yeah. dogs, and he has Yoda's ears. Mm -hmm. They're the biggest ears. Uh, and he got hit by a car right in front of me, and, and luckily he was uh, there at that age. They're like rubber. Yeah. So the car went right over him, and he was like, right. "Car went over me." Yeah. <laughs> and all he had was a fractured elbow. So I we we bandaged him up, put him in a cast. Technically and I brought him speaking, home. do dogs have elbows? I mean, <laughs> in, in the strictest anatomical sense, do dogs have elbows? Well, what would you call well, it? Well, his little arm deal. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, Mr. Vet, thank yeah. you. <laughs> he's busted his arm cap there. It's, uh, the arm thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, but he's okay? He's all right, yeah. yeah. He, went, he went through a, uh, a teething phase right as I, as I had him. He was quite young. He was about six months. And I was staying in a hotel, and you try, when you travel with a dog, to be kind of discreet in hotel rooms. Right. But he ate the phone. <laughs> I came home one night, and it looked like a 727 had crashed in my hotel room. Yeah. He'd found the box that the humidifier and the VCR goes in, the, the styrofoam, the white stuff, oh, yeah, oh, and it was oh, everywhere. Oh, oh. And he was lying in the middle of the uh, carpet with the uh, drapes between his teeth. Wow. He was so kind of just... rambunctious. Yeah, redecorating. You have to be, you have to be careful because that, uh, that styrofoam stuff, I don't know if you want your animal ingesting a lot of that. You know, you have to watch him, keep an eye on him. I'm not, I don't...
I didn't mean to ruin your night. I, I know you're you're still flying from the Tonys, but I'm oh, sorry. I know, but, but I kind of like it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you you uh, have an actual correspondence with Katherine Hepburn? Shocking but true. How did this begin? It began a long time ago. I, no, it actually began, I, I, I was a, a student in, in junior high school in California, and I went to see her in a play. What was the play? It was a play called A Matter of Gravity that, that she was doing at the music center out there, and I found where she parked her car, and I was a big fan. She wasn't driving. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I found where she parked her car and her driver, and I, and I waited, and she came down from this, uh, this sort of backstage area, and she saw me, and she looked at me, and she said, you waited for me. How lovely. <laughs> I feel like Dana Carvey on a bad day. <laughs> and there, there became the... Uh, no, the I actually the didn't write her then. She then came to see a, a play I did uh, uh, on Broadway. She came backstage mm -hmm. and I wrote her then and, and, and told her that story. And so I write her long letters and she writes That's me back great. little things that say, Good for you, Kate. <laughs> it's great, it's great. And and uh, are you are you leaving the the production soon or are you no? Gonna I'm, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay to the end of August great. and uh, and I have a film on on Friday night called Daryl. I just oh. wanted to get that in. Good for you. Good to see Thank you, again, you, Kevin. Congratulations Thank you. again, Kevin Spacey. We'll be back with Stevie Wonder.